Central Georgia. Well, as 2021 comes to a close, we've seen our fair share of state championships this year, but none quite like the Dodge County Indians flag football program. This was Dodge County back on October 12th. The ring is coming for us. <laughs> and this was the Indians just two months later. It's Mitchell, down the right side, in the end zone. Alicia Mitchell scores in Dodge County, the state champions. The ring came for him, all right. And now the only question left is what that ring is going to look like. We wanted it all blinged out. Like, we wanted it to look the best out of everybody that has a ring. And we want everybody just like, it to catch their eye. The Indians have caught the eye of the entire Peach State, winning just the second flag football state championship ever in the GHSA, but the first football state title ever for the county. Three over times I was like, is this, I just could see myself playing forever. I was like, where's the end? As soon as she ran it over, I was like, oh my gosh, like, I can't believe it. Like, it's very surreal. A new sport and a new team that started for fun and turned into so much more. Starting out, I was like, oh, well, this will just be something fun I can do with when I don't have anything else to do. Like, I don't think I realized how serious it was going to get. I was, I was approached by a resource officer, and he's, he said, you know, they're fixing to start girls' flag football. And I went and talked to the athletic director and said, hey, we're going to start this. I, I'll, I'll be in charge of it. I don't mind. A full circle moment for Coach Clint Sanders, who coached the flag football championship team as a senior at Auburn in 1991. Drawing on that experience 30 years later. You really don't understand uh, what you're a part of until, until later. We love each other. We build each other up. Um, we all came from different backgrounds. So, I mean, we helped each other as one. That love and support especially showing through when senior Sana Searles was lost to injury in Dodge's quarterfinal game. In football, you have adversity. But the truly great teams, when that adversity hits, they, they pull together and, and rise above that adversity. And we had that happen. Dodge County forever remembered as state champs, and because of it, also something much bigger than themselves. They're all, all in with football now. Uh, I've had lots of people throughout the community after the state championship say, I want to play next year, I want to play next year. Uh, we're looking at starting this in the, uh, in the recreation department, looking at starting this in the middle school. I think it's fixing to take over this county. As long as they stick together, listen to the coach, come to practice, and work hard, they can do the same thing we did this year. This is only the beginning for them. And as for those championship rings, Dodge County is currently fundraising for those 27 rings and is in search of sponsors. If you want to help the ladies, that information can be found with this story on 13WMAZ.com.